Um, so I have the puppet that I use in our pro professional development workshops when it's not the fanciest puppet I've ever made, but I'm so proud of a lot of the work that um, this puppet and I have done together. And um, this is my training puppet that I use to teach everyone the basic skills of puppetry. And it's a uh, glove puppet, non-moving mouth, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And yeah. Um, <laughs> we talk a lot about focus, where the eyes are looking, right? If he's talking yeah. to you, he wouldn't be looking down here. He'd be looking at you, yeah. right? And then breath, how yeah. breath affects emotion. Because if we're breathing a certain way, then automatically a lot of people will know how we're feeling just based on how we're breathing. And yeah. then uh, again, focus and the the last three tenants, which is something I learned at UConn, uh, University of Connecticut, is see, think, react. What is the puppet seeing? What does it make them think about? And then how are they reacting to that, right? Yes. So if you combine breath, which informs emotion, with see, think, react, then you've brought something not only to life, but to a place that has a life outside of you because you have your thought process and then you're also creating a thought process for this character that is believable because of all of the, all of these different mechanics that you're applying. Yay. So we can't wait to have the workshop and that, uh, to come to see those little glove puppet to, to learn more. It's so amazing. I really see the expertise. You really get to name like, and also we get comment about like so much informative, so much. Yeah, you think about it. it you're, it's it's so much. It's, it's so right. Oh no no not not too, <laughs> not too brainy. No, it's motion and breathing. <laughs> one of the things that I'll have the teachers do because they'll say I'll the first one of the first exercises I do is I show them a quick little four minute. Um, piece uh, where the puppet um, discovers some blocks, decides to build a tower, finishes the tower, gets super excited, and then accidentally knocks the tower down, gets frustrated, decides to rebuild, rebuilds carefully, then leaves it, double checks on it, and then walks away, right? Yeah. It, it's a four minute piece, very short, but no words. And then afterwards, I'll say to the teachers or whoever's taking my course, what emotions did you see? And then we'll write 20 different emotions up on the board. And then I'll say, but I didn't say anything. Yeah. And they'll say, yeah. And I, I'll say, well, yeah. did you understand everything that was happening the whole time? And they'll say, yeah. And I said, yes, that is because I knew how to use this puppet, right? Like yes. if you understand the basics of emotion and storytelling, then, then you don't need to have words. You can use words if you want to, but words come after you understand what it is that the puppet is mm -hmm. doing with its body, right? One of the things that uh, a lot of beginners tend to do when they first put on a puppet like this without a moving mouth and they start to talk, is they'll, I'm sorry, I'm gonna do this thing to you, okay? I know you don't like it, I know, all right. Um, <laughs> they do this, hi, my name is Robert and I'm a puppet, right? And they move the head with every single syllable. And yeah. it's, this is not a moving mouth puppet, you don't need to do that, right? You yeah. can just gesture and say, hi, my name's Robert, I'm really happy to be here. So exciting, <laughs> right? Like we can just add these little inflections yeah. and moments to to emphasize the words instead of every single syllable moving. Yes, <laughs> that's an amazing advice, and it, for sure, it's a, a lot of sensibility and some precision. I really <laughs> see how you're talented and your expertise. It's really amazing. Oh, everyone <laughs> wants one at home. Just well, that. if you take my puppetry course, um, Making Connections Through Puppetry, you get to make your own puppet just like this. Um, everybody gets um, a felt puppet with eyes and a mouth, and then you can customize it with your own nose and some hair. Mm -hmm. And then I teach the basic tenets of how to bring a puppet to life. And mm -hmm. I've taught puppeteers who have not really learned about glove puppetry. And I've taught um, total non-puppeteers, non-theater people, uh, which is actually my favorite because 
because a lot of times they leave having a completely new skill set that they didn't even know that they would like. And now they can take that back to their work, either their classroom or their office space to be able to use in a way to communicate with people. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. For sure, we will put your information below the podcast and maybe you will have some some inflow of emails coming to, sure. to have more workshop it's amazing and and we have like yeah people say wow wow so cute the best <laughs> podcast yes so, oh. <laughs> you, you well. make a, a blast if I could just add one more thing to yeah. um, people who are learning this form specifically one of the things that you always want to focus on are stops right? Yeah. That if you are constantly moving with your puppet and never stop moving, then there's it becomes overwhelming for the viewer. You yeah. actually want to really be precise in your movement and decide when you're moving and when you're not moving. Um, and I know that sounds like a lot to be thinking about. After you do it for a little while, it tends to come very naturally. Um, and oftentimes, he's looking at the camera right now because I'm trained to do that. But mm. I... Um, I teach people that when I'm talking or the person who's talking is speaking, that the puppet should be looking at that person. And then when the puppet's talking, I'm looking at the puppet so that I'm talking, I'm the main thing in charge. And um, you know, you would know that because she's looking at me and now I'm talking and the puppet would look at me, yes. right? And so yes. we know where the focus should be based on who's looking at who. Yes, true. <laughs> It's kind of a, a law that you just mentioned right there. Yeah. So everyone, you, you know that and apply it that's the part of the job that's part of it thank you so much it was uh, a <laughs> teamwork <laughs> we get the blast i told here. you i that little puppet is like my favorite thing <laughs> I, i've made some beautiful beautiful puppets i can share pictures with you but if you ask me who my favorite puppet is i love that puppet <laughs>